All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the official One Only Smite Super Builds. Today we have Shock with us. It's been quite a while since I've last done a Shock build video. But let's go into his abilities and how they matter into building Shock for the newer players out there. Now, Shock, overall, he's a really balanced and easy to use warrior. I feel I highly recommend him to any newer players to the warrior role. Uh, as far as how his abilities transfer into the way you build, there is actually not too much to it. The way his kit is set up is pretty much to go into a team fight, get some minor poke damage off, uh, maybe disrupt team fights, or get some objective secure with his storm call, his ultimate, which you, it could do a, a nice sounds for three seconds, and just kind of walk around and, and just absorb damage, really. So that's how you mostly build shock is just a really heavy bruiser compared to some other warriors like Osiris, which they rely more of their basic attacks for their damage. Shock is mostly ability uh, based warrior. So with that being said, we're looking for maybe some cooldown reduction. Maybe items like Yon's Wrath is actually really good for him. Uh, it's a good mix of both penetration, has power, and has the 25% cooldown reduction. Or maybe you can just go into the Spear Robe, which has the 15% cooldown reduction as well as extra protections. Now, with his Rain Dance, is actually a really nice skill for Shock since he just absorbs damage. The slow effect allows you to buy items maybe like Mystical Mail and you can easily apply the Mystical Mail damage over time effects because you can slow any targets that are around you within the taking damage. As well as the healing factor is fairly good for the solar roll. It allows you to heavily just sustain yourself and most importantly if you get shock and assault you can easily increase your healing if you go ahead and pick up the Stone of Gaia. You can probably also pick up the Stone of Gaia if you're fighting against maybe another uh, a mage in the solo lane. If you're not fighting a, a warrior or some type of physical, then you can probably go with the Stone of Gaia instead of the Mystic of Mel rush for the early game. So let's go to actually building Shock. And I have the Warrior Tabby on just so you can see how his physical uh, scaling comes from his abilities or from his items to his abilities. The scalings are okay, mostly from his ultimate, which you use 100% of your physical power as extra damage for your ultimate. So I'll actually go into building Shock here, and let's start with these starter items. Now, with these starter items, for the most part, they are just for conquest. You can maybe pick up some starter items for maybe the, like, Joust. Uh, I feel like maybe that you could pick up some, some starter items, maybe Siege. But overall, mostly conquest. So, if you're going into the solo lane, um, as of right now, the Bluestone Pennant is still viable with the recent patch. Of course, you know, the date uh, according to the, the recording of this video. The uh, Bluestone Pennant is still actually fairly good. It did get nerfed on the physical power side. It was 20, now it's 15. If this was ever nerfed in the future, then you probably just want to go with the Death's Toll. But for now, let's stick with the Bluestone Pennant because like I said before, he does a good amount of poke damage with his abilities, and the passive on Bluestone is really, really good. And of course, if you're being weird, you could probably jungle if you're jungling, Bombus Mask, obviously. Or if you want to take him into the support role in the dual lane, then you can maybe pick up the Watcher's Gift if you want to. So let's just go with this uh, Bluestone Pennant for now, and just disregard that for uh, any other really game modes. And let's go into the boots. Boots, uh, you know, just obviously wear a tabby. We want the maximum amount of physical power for our uh, abilities. We don't really use our, you know, any basic attacks for attack speed. The only time you really use your basic attacks is to build up your passive. And so that way you get like a ability that doesn't cost any mana after a certain amount of basic attack hits. So after you get your boots going, you have a few options. You have a few options now. Sorry, if I can speak. So back into the solo lane, if you're in the solo lane and you're fighting against a physical, you'll see this pretty often, you can uh, go into the mystical mail. Given that you're not behind on gold and you're not, you know, getting ganked a lot and you're really behind, if you're behind, mystical mail is going to take a really, really long time to build into, so it's not the best investment. If you're like doing decent or above decent, then yeah, definitely go to the mystical mail. It's a really great item to pick up for shock. Again. Like I said before, if you're fighting a mage in a soul lane, then you probably just want to go into something like the Stone of Gaia. Um, if it's a healer, you could probably go into Pestilence at this time. It really depends and varies on who you're fighting against. Maybe you're fighting against a Kronos or a Freya, then the Runic Shield is actually fairly good to counter those two gods, or maybe even Al Kuang. Because of the aura effect, it reduces their magical power, as well as their attack speed. So, those are your options for that. Let's just stick with the Mystical Mail. Now, we 
I mentioned before with the Yon's Wrath. If you are going to go with the Yon's Wrath, you probably want to pick it up right after uh, your Mystical Mail. Or, you know, just pick it up as your third item slot. So let's go ahead and pick the item up. Just go into Penetration. Pick up the Yon's Wrath. Now from here, um, now this is just one build for Shock. Now Warriors and Smite, for the most part, they're really, really flexible. Honestly, you can go a huge variety of builds. So just if you feel, uh, just let me know what your build for Shock. And if it works for you, then it works for you and just let us know. So let's go with the Yon's Wrath from now. Uh, for Yeah, for now. <laughs> now, after here, uh, like I said, it kind of varies on the situation on who you're fighting against. If you're fighting against mostly physicals, you probably want to invest in, into more uh, bruiser items that relate to physical protections. Like maybe like the Runeforge Hammer. Or if they have a lot of burst mages that are giving you trouble, then you probably want to invest into a magical uh, defensive item. And then at this point, you can still go into the Stone of Gaia, or you can go to the Borg of Hope, which offers a lot of HP. Or if they have healers, then you can go to Pest Ones at this time. Or if you're, um, if the support on your team is behind on gold and they can't or they don't have enough money, whatever the situation is, and they can't really get Howard Amulet. Then you can pick this up, so that way your support has the sovereignty, and then you have the Hogwarts Amulet, and that way your team fights, everybody has all the extra protections from the Earth effects from these items. So let's just go into the Stony Guy for now. Um, actually, or oh, there's actually, you have another option, of course, because you're a warrior. Yeah, this would be another good time to go to the Spirit Robe, for the case of where they have a pretty balanced team, and you're taking a lot of damage from both physicals and magicals, then this is a really great item that gives you both protections of course no HP but that's giving you your picking up items uh, somewhere else in your build that gives you a good amount of HP as well as the passive is really great at mitigating more damage now let's just go with that for now um, it depends on where you want to go from here if you want to go back and do a little bit more damage then I would recommend going to the Titan's Bane since that offers a lot of uh, penetration and of course the physical power is always nice and it's a fairly cheap item the 2k really cheap or if you want to if you want to continue on into the uh, overall just bruiser route, this would be a good time to go into the Rune Forge Hammer. And the reason being, it's a very cheap and efficient item. So the later stages of the game, where it looks like the game is about to end, and you need like that one item that's really super efficient for the amount of money you have, then the Rune Forge Hammer is also really good for that. Uh, offers a lot of HP, like I talked about earlier. Since the Spear Robe has no HP, Beyond's Wrath has no HP. Um, as well as the passive is really strong, of course, because we have other physical protection items and that transverse into physical power. And that way we can do more damage with our ultimates when we go in for team fights or objective secures, things like that. And then, of course, um, the starter items, if you have one, you can always sell that mid to late game whenever you feel like you just don't need it anymore. So that make it too much of a difference. And the current patch with the blue and steel pendant, you could probably just keep it to the very end because the passive can be fairly useful. Because, you know, you have your slow with your rain dance and you can easily uh, just stick to your target and apply abilities to them and so forth and so on. And after you sell your starter item, you can go back to whichever item you need if you need more magical protection you can go to that if you're looking to get into more damage you can go back and you know pick up that time span like i said before if they have healers don't forget brawler's beast stick is always there for you to help uh destroy healers or any high health regeneration gods like enemy shock or enemy vamana things like that and offers a lot of penetration with that item or uh let's say that the, the fight is dragging on a lot and you're actually on the winning side um, the Mail of Renewal in the current patch is always still go, is still good to pick up if you're ahead in the team, you know, in the team fights and things like that. Like, you're getting a lot of kills, you're getting a lot of assists, this is going to help, uh, keep you sustained with a massive amount of HP and mana with the passive and things like that. Of course, always be careful with the cooldown reduction and stat, it does cap out at 40%, so in this particular build, you're not getting the most out of your money. Because you have the 40% cooldown reduction already with Yon's Wrath and Spear Robe. So this would be a good replacement. If you don't want to go into Spear Robe, then you can go into this item. Really grab to pick up. So let's just go into the Titan's Bane for now. And that wraps up with a fairly decent all-around build for Shock. Uh, a little low on the magical protection side. However, you do gain more protections with your two. If you apply it correctly, what that is, you know, throw out your one and then use your two and it's, you, gain, you gain your protections through the amount of people you hit and things like that. Let's go into Actus real quick. 
Um, actives, it's all really situational, of course. Again, if you uh, want to help out your team, you can go with Heavenly Agility. Makes everybody faster, makes immune to slows, increase healing done, things like that. That's a, a really great one to go into. If you're playing Assault, Salvation is always great to go into as well. If they have like a lot of in-handers or like really bursty mages like Poseidon, then you can go into the Shield of the Underworld. Like I talked about before, Shock is just kind of absorbing a lot of damage and just being, you know, annoying. This is really great to complement that factor, and you can go to that. It's really cheap, only 600 gold, only has one tier to it. You can pick that up. Um, if you want to go the more supportive route, you can go with the shell. Uh, be kind of wise when you use this. Uh, don't really wait till after or, you know, too early before. It only lasts for five seconds, so make sure you have really good timing when using this, like if you're sieging a tower or a phoenix or a titan, a great time to pick this item up. And of course, Purification Beads, always an option if they have a lot of CCs that are really stopping you from, from progressing. Highly recommend picking up Purification Beads. And as you see, the Tier 3 version, it also reduces your cooldowns by 3 seconds, so you can use that uh, to your advantage as well. So that's going to wrap it up for the, the build video uh, today. Sorry, I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't done a build video in a very long time. Uh, probably a few weeks or so. That's a lot to me. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.